Our group is really interested in how uh, diabetes or diabetic patients can have such a high risk for heart disease and we want to know what are the mechanisms behind that. Diabetic patients have um, increased blood glucose, which is you know, what is commonly known and, and used to diagnose diabetic patients, but actually they also have increased levels of fructose sugar in the blood, and we think that it's that fructose sugar that might be getting into the heart and um, binding to different parts of the cell and actually changing the way that they function. Fructose is, is one half of the main sugar that we eat, which is sucrose. So sucrose is one glucose, one fructose, and so we're eating that all the time and all the sweet things that uh, eat sweet foods, we're exposed to fructose sugar. So it's not just about fruit. We, we do obtain it from fruit, but we're getting really high levels from other things like chocolate bars and soft drinks. So we want to understand um, how fructose is uh, getting into the heart and we've identified that there is actually a transporter in the cell which can bring that fructose in. So it is getting in there and then what is it going to do? Is it um, just used as another uh, fuel like, um, like glucose is? Or could it actually be um, stored away in the, in the heart muscle cell and um, do damage in that way? We have some convincing evidence to say that, that fructose definitely gets in there and it does something, but understanding exactly what's happening in the diabetic scenario uh, is another story. So that's where we're really looking at more diabetic tissues and that kind of thing.